Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a pigeon salad with bacon and black pudding. Pigeon's a fantastic meat, it's got a rich deep flavour and the black pudding and bacon really complement it. It's quick and it's easy to do and I'm going to start by showing you how to make the dressing. Two thirds of extra virgin olive oil to one third white wine vinegar. teaspoonful of whole grain mustard. I've got some Scottish blossom honey. It's taken from the heather in Scotland. Delicious flavour. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'll quickly have that taste. That's super. I'm just set it aside. And now I'm going to cook the bacon. I'm going to take a few rashers and I'm going to cut it up into lardons. This is smoky, streaky bacon. The smoke will really help um, bring the flavour of the pigeon out. And when it's nice and crispy, gives better texture to the, the salad and we'll just take it over to a nice hot frying pan. I've had the pan heating for a few minutes and this is dry cured so I'm expecting very little moisture to come out. It's taking on nice colour as it starts to cook. The fat from the, the streaky bacon gives it a delicious flavour and it also gives it a good start when we go to cook the black pudding off and we get the flavours to carry over and don't add any extra oil if you don't need any. I'm just going to set this aside and I'm going to use the pan to cook the black pudding now. I have got a super Scottish black pudding here. I'm going to take the skin off and then I'll dice the black pudding for the recipe. So if I cut in half. Oh, lovely. You can hear that the pan's nice and hot and we want to just seal the edges. You can see that the grain of this black pudding is quite tight and that's what we were looking for when we were choosing it for this recipe. That's it nicely browned. I'm going to take it off and set it aside. I'm carefully making sure that the oil that I've used to cook it doesn't come out. Um, and I'll leave that behind. There we go. And there we have the bacon and the black pudding. And now for the main ingredient, pigeon breasts. I'm going to check them. They look beautiful, fresh. One thing that'll make a huge difference is to take the pigeon breast out of the fridge and allow it to come up to room temperature before you start to cook. Put some oil over them and some salt and pepper. And in they go to the frying pan. The juices from the bacon and the black pudding are already in there. We're only going to cook them for a couple of minutes on each side. So it's a very quick process. We want it to be pink and in the middle. Just turn them over. You can see them then firming up and just before the end of cooking we're going to add a little bit of sherry vinegar to it. Whoa! This will reduce and all the flavours will intensify. I'm now going to take the pigeon breasts out to rest and set them aside. The sherry vinegar is reducing with, along with the juices of the pigeon. It's time to start pulling this all together. I've got some salad leaves here. Um, I've got a bistro mix, which is grated beetroot and some greenery. There's some darker leaves. Here we go. 
We have our French dressing that we made here. I'm just going to drizzle over. This should give it a little sweet sour flavour. And then we'll start adding the texture of our bacon and black pudding. Here's my rested pigeon breasts. And I'm going to slice them and place them across the, the top of the dish. As you can see, it's very pink in the inside and that should help with the juices and place across the salad. And I'm going to pour the juices from the frying pan over the, the pigeon breasts. And then I'm going to finish off with some balsamic vinegar around the edges. Just a few drops. Don't need a lot of it. There we go. So here we are, we've got a lovely, delicious, warm pigeon salad with Stornoway black pudding and bacon. Enjoy.